Hi, I'm Ashikur Rahman from Accounting Celebrity. Welcome to my channel where I upload couple of accounting tutorials weekly. Today's topic is how to calculate payment periods for accounts payable in days. Many of you have confusion how to calculate this because sometimes you need to calculate in days, sometimes weeks, sometimes months. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, first of all, let us have a look at the question on the screen. A business had credit purchases for the year ended 31st March 2021 of $45,500, okay, and carriage inwards of $2,500, okay, then inventory at 1st April 2020 was $4,000 and at 31st March 2021 was $5,600. So these two items are not required to calculate this ratio but still these are given because you will have some extra items to check your understanding okay you can extract the correct item or not okay then what is written in the question accounts payable at 31st march 2020 were three thousand seven hundred fifty dollars yes so this value is required to calculate this ratio here. Okay, so first of all, we need to we need to know the formula to calculate this payment period. Okay, so what is the formula here? We know payment period for accounts payable equal to accounts payable divided by credit purchase times what well if you say it is 365 you are correct so why you have to multiply by 365 in the question specifically written that we have to calculate the answer in days okay so sometimes it will be in in month in weeks. So here I'll just show you how to calculate in days. Okay. So in this question already we have accounts payable. Yeah. So what is accounts payable? Look at here. Accounts payable of the business were $3,750. Okay. So let us write the value here. So it is $3,750. Great. Then we have here credit purchase. Yeah. Where look at here we have credit purchase which is forty five thousand five hundred dollars. Okay, so specifically it is credit purchase. Sometimes in the question you will be given cash purchase, but you do not take cash purchase because cash purchase is always entered in another account in cash book. So it is not required, it is not relevant to calculate this issue, okay. So now we have here also carriage inward, okay. Carriage inward will not come with this purchase, okay. So to calculate the cost of sales, we need to take this carriage inward, okay. So now we will write here create purchase which is $45,500, okay. Now let us multiply by three hundred sixty five dollars okay guys so if you calculate now if you multiply three seven five zero by three hundred sixty five then if you divide the answer by forty five thousand five hundred dollars what you get if you say it is thirty you are correct okay now what is the unit with this thirty it is thirty dollar thirty thirty times 30% no none of them so you have to write here 30 days okay so I see many students write everything correctly even calculation is correct when they write the unit you make mistake you write some something wrong you write something percentage sometimes times sometimes dollars okay so this is not correct. So you have to write here days. So what does it mean? What does this 30 days mean? So it means that 
so the payment must be cleared by the customer within 30 days so this is how you need to calculate this payment period for accounts payable okay so this is all about our today's lesson i hope you enjoyed this lesson and you understood so for more free video lessons you can visit my channel because there are so many video lessons which will help you to prepare accounting to learn accounting to understand accounting and if you think that this video is helpful for you i'll request to share with your friends so that is all i'll see you soon with new video until then bye bye and take care